uh, Yoda Cage B side. Uh, once again, they're not exactly, you know, uh, constant like teammates, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But once again, I oh, want to see hyped. how the green team kind of, you know, like cleans up just a little bit. I know they can do it, but once again, I want to see them play a little bit more doubles while Beast and uh, Yoda Cage, they do play doubles, just not together. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And it, like what we're seeing here, too, we're seeing teams who, you know, constantly team with each other, doing really well, either still in the winner's side of bracket or, you know, a little further along in the loser's bracket. But now, and this is something I do like seeing throughout doubles, is how do you adjust throughout the day? Because you're both really good players, you know, you both agreed to teams, so you must think pretty highly of each other. But here we go, hold on. Pressure at the ledge here. Go to Cage, gotta find his way out. Yeah, side being, I like it. Yeah, no. Junior's really fast. He can get to the other side of the stage really quick. Yeah. He realized that Beast was in trouble, and unfortunately, oh. Yoda getting launched off the side of the stage, but Beast not finding the exact uh, sweet spot on the back air. Now everyone's just trying to find some find some KOs off stage. That was ca uh, true chaos, too, because it looked like green team was winning so, so much, and then uh, Falcon got tossed off stage. Opportunist on the red team, back throw. Oh, I like the new the blade throw off stage. <laughs> I like it. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it's definitely a little creative for sure. Oh, Yoda missing the punish on the down smash. Right. Gonna take, you know, somebody with him, but I don't think they mind too much. Now, Tilde and Beast are teammates, and they do play a lot whenever they see each other. I know that those friendlies majority go in the way of Tilde, so I'm not quite sure if Beast really wants to go, you know, try and separate and conquer that way. I feel like you would want to try and capitalize off of what Yoda's doing. He's doing a really good job of actually actually zoning him right to Beast. But once again, they just got to play a little bit more like a team right now. Mm -hmm. Falling up there, didn't connect. Reading the air dodge, but facing the wrong way. Here we go. Joda Cage. Oh, he's looking for, I think, an up B off the top <laughs> is my guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's looking for something. He's very creative with that card. Mm -hmm. It's a good one to go to. I think Charizard. Oh, looking for the, oh, he caught him. He barely clipped him with it. I don't know if he was ready for it. Forward air. Oh, Spin God. Yeah, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad for the green team. Oh, Where are they going to go? Unfortunately, oh, gives the double? Up, yeah, gives up space, but that was perfect range for Beast. He realizes Beast is also a spacey player, so he knows that exact way to jump off of the jump off of the platform and get that fair. Now, he's going to play, try and, like, gimp light a little bit. And if you know anything about Beast's art, that is what he is known yeah. for. He's known for sitting at a high percent and then kind of cheesing you off stage, but not if Tilde has wow. anything to say about it. So Survivability again, getting the drag down fair though into another up smash on the platform with that little extra damage. Very nice by Light. Needed to take that Zard sock. Yep, switching. Yep, Beast just wants to create some space and switch. You know what I mean? He wants to switch. Yep, there it is. Gotta watch out. Oh no, oh, he back airs his partner. Yoda sitting at once again a really high percent. <laughs> this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. You know, an unlikely duo, they do hit each other a lot. So once again, it's still looking in pretty much, you know, momentum favor-wise to the to the red team, but so far now, God, they're a little kind of on top of each other. Mm -hmm. That rapid jab from Bowser Jr. is gonna be a great tool in doubles for sure. Hold them in place. Knockback is good too. Oh my god, that almost killed Light that far from the edge. Down air, uh, might, nope, not gonna do it. Oh, but the upbeat does it for sure. That air was dodge. so smart by Beast, but unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think Yoda was ready to get hit by that Razor Leaf, so now it's gonna be this 1v1, and they're both sitting pretty healthy right now. Yeah, mid percentages for both, up throw. Oh my god, back air. In that position, it's like, is it gonna be an up air, back air? Is he gonna wait out the air dodge and down air? Me, that's just a good position for Falco. He faked him out so oh, hard with again. that up tilt. Yeah, oh my god. Beast, I feel like Zard is gonna have to be the pick here, but uh, jumping right into Tilda. He knows those jump reads. Yep. Not even gonna give him a chance, basically. It's just not gonna happen. Okay, here we go. Hold on, what's the discussion here? <laughs> it's a very heated, once again, that's a very heated discover, like uh, discussion right now. Those are two big personalities. That's number one and five on the, uh, uh, P-A-P-R here, nice. yeah. Words are hard. Uh, True. Once again, Tilde just does such a good job of reading what exactly Beast wants to do, like boom. His turnaround, Tilde's turnarounds are so quick, which isn't a surprise Fantastic. because he mid-combo likes to turn around up air to cross up the DI and just mix up the combo route, but then also obviously the back air is going to be the go-to tool in a lot of situations for Falco. So just looking at the turnarounds, thank you, Devin. I don't know what that line was for. It was, was supposed to show that Tilde like jumped in a circle and then back air, unless I was completely wrong. That was on... That yes. was unclear, Devin. <laughs> nice job by Lyric, though, with the pickup. <laughs> Clean. It was uh, perfect. Yeah, very nice. I mean, we see, we've seen him do it a lot. And we do get to see a little more of the Tilde show here. That's uh, true. Against Zard and, oh, OK, rapid jab. <laughs> get on my Why face. Not? Like, yeah. Yeah, they got to play a little bit more like a team. They unfortunately had a couple of KOs both on you know their side. And I feel like this would have went really well. But that waterfall out of, out of shield was kind of nice, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, if it's an up B out of shield on a Pokemon, Beast, beast can press it on occasion. 
right. Beast and Yoda currently off stage right now, but Yoda's always going to be able to find his mark. Now, yeah. if, if it's one character that I think Yoda is very comfortable playing against, it's really this, you know, spacey combo because there are a couple spaces down in Pennsylvania. But once again, uh, Yoda's just got to find that rapid jab off stage because really at the ledge, that's going to kill a character like Falco really, really early. And it's deceptively strong. Mm -hmm. Side by side here, back air, two back air action. This is good doubles. This is yeah, much one, better. two happens, three comes in to punish, and four punishes three. It's just really, really good back to back to back doubles. Off stage though, he's gonna have to flare blitz. Oh, he uppies. I think the uppies saved him. Hold on. Oh, he didn't have a jump. Okay, Unfortunate. he's not gonna. Oh, oh the save head. though? Are you kidding me? Finally, Yoda Cage. Doubles play. <laughs> Yoda Cage with the save. That was incredible. And that's the cool thing about playing two heavies is that you have those opportunities. Look, man, you might have taken 80% off of stage, but if you can get back on the ground, we can cause some damage, especially with Zard. So great awareness there from Cage. All right, here we go. Once again, Tilde always ready with that fair on the shield, but the Ooh, double the up smash. I like it. <laughs> Yoda Cage playing amazing right now, I have to say. Yeah, he's definitely kind of picking it up for the team. I feel like Beast is just kind of trying to follow up, but he's not finding anything really. I feel like Yoda's just the one to follow up. But the double waterfall was great, and you know, whatever he's able to find, he gets. But once again, Yoda is just kind of covering every option. Nice. Light being able to get pushed back to the stage from the cart for an up smash. Yoda Cage, though, he's ready for anything. We're missing that Nair, though. Not ready for the tech, actually. I take it back. Wasn't ready for everything. Just about, though. Just about. Everything. Yeah, that's an SD, unfortunately, from Beast. I don't think he was ready for that little offstage shenanigans. I like how he's always there with the Nair, though. He's trying to kind of pass it to Yoda for that back air. That back air is super deceptively strong once again. Uh-oh. Pressure here. Neither one of the characters want to be in this position. Look at that. Until they're going off right now, all the way to the top. You gotta respect that upbeat from Zard in that position too. Especially when a team's behind like that, they might pull the trigger on, on some crazy option like that. So falling up there though through the platform. Good movement from Beast to get the kill on light. Oh, I'm holding shield. Oh, forward smash, that's crazy. Yeah, no, jab keeps him in long enough. So once again, this is looking pretty scary. Still, you know, even stocks, but once again, uh -oh. I feel like you gotta let Yoda uh -oh. do his thing, Beast. I, oh, see, that's what yeah. I'm saying, the upbeat. Good coverage though for Yoda Cage, he was ready to go. He side beat him by accident though, the back hit, but it is what it is, it's all good. Good parry though by Beast, he's ready to go. Once again, good parry once again, but now it's looking a little rough. Once again, they are heavy, so they are gonna live, but once again, Light is fishing for a, a, a down smash, a up smash, yeah. something. Oh god, looking for the down air, Wrong activated the uppie though. Yeah, it was, it was a good option there for Light to save himself. Up air though is gonna take it out. Yoda Cage looking for something here. He's gonna have to land first though, Lyric. Uh-oh. I feel like that was such an easy fare for Beast off the side of the stage too. Going for the card eject, gonna just return right to stage. I'm like, eh, I don't know which option I want to choose, but he's gonna zoom left and right, find what he can find. Unfortunately, lands on the stage. He was definitely going for that, going for that ledge. But now he's gonna play on the ledge here. Yeah, see little, exactly what he can get. A little wee fit trainer action right now. I like okay. this. Oh, forward smash. Oh, the trade though by Light. Very nice job. Take that all day. Take it to the bank. Light taking that one down. Two all right now for the spacey guys. And here we go. Let's watch this again. So. Yoda going for the F smash kind of on the read there. It's just. Oh, he did know, it again. Oh, yeah. he mashed it twice. Let's get that graph again, Devin. The little, you know, circle with the line through it. Boom. Yeah, the way Light just plays, like, so aggressive but so smart. Yeah. Like, this was so clutch yeah. with that up smash out of shield. I gotta say, too. You... Wait, who was that? Who did he say? Morton? Oh, did he say Morton? Yeah. Couldn't hear it. Yeah, oh, this okay. Was smart it's been too. a minute. <laughs> Yeah, there's eight Koopa Kids, Hasma. What? Well, I, I didn't hear Morton. I thought it said Sora. I, was like, I saw oh, such a funny tweet, and See it was ya. just like, what are you talking about, Sora's in Smash? Wake up, it's EVO 2018 oh. Finals. Jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, here we go, though. Uh, uh -oh. Once again, a little bit chaotic on one side of the stage. I feel like they just need to separate just a little bit. I feel like they're just constantly getting cro caught in the crossfire. Yeah. And it's tough with the isolation, too, because, I mean, uh, both the spaces do really, really well in the 1v1s. I feel like where they go, oh, see you later. That is a team kill right there. Red team, uh-oh, going down a big early stock. But Beast is on the Zard, so he can steal stuff early. Yep, or Yoda Cage can just do it himself. All right. There you go. Once again, I feel like once again, this team's downfall is that they're, they're hitting each other Ooh. much more than they should be. Once again, Light just going to try and find something. Now, notice how Beast ran up and shielded. He said, oh, wait, what? hold on, you got that. But unfortunately, some... Messy shenanigans on the other side of the stage. That's going to be stopped, by the way. Yeah, that's easy. Uh, the rapid jab right at the ledge. Falco's super light. It's going to take a bounce. 
gonna watch oh, that. Oh, look at the F wow. Didn't connect. Yeah, Yoda was waiting for something off the side, but nothing quite home. Pressure here, what's gonna happen? He's gonna be able to help out. Nope, Yoda Cage bailing himself out. Pressure, guys dancing around, switching positions here, okay. I'm surprised Ivy up there killed that early. I don't know. Once again, green team now kind of in the stock deficit, but nothing that two spaces can't, you know, up smash up to. Oh my God, do you see that? Mm -hmm. I feel like Light was waiting for the switch. I feel like he knew in oh a way. Oh my God, he's swinging right now. Mm -hmm. Taking stocks, taking names. There's another one, yep. And just like that, green team in the stock lead. Yep. Again, if I, if I am red team, I'm, once again, I'm gonna go for this divide and conquer, but Light really just having his way with Beast on the other side of the stage. Goes over there to check on Tilde real quick, but yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah no, you, you good, good. You good, yeah, man? You good All right, man? Yeah, you good, All right. Just check it in. Uh, let me go back real quick. Just wanna make sure you're safe, you know? Call me when you get home. All right, here we, here we go. Nice by, nice by Tilde to run right in there. Nice, and Light interrupted yeah. the rapid jab he too. Knows too. It would have killed for sure. All right, good parry by Beast. He was definitely done for if he got in it by that. All right, the Nair coming down. Oh no, they're bullying oh. him. Missing that up there though, no conversion. Green team separating it out. Nice, Tilde says, you know what, you can recover. I'm gonna take care of Beast off of this side. And just like that, I mean, red team had a lead at one point. Okay, hold on. Go to Cage though, he's gonna do this. Nice spacing around that, baiting out that up smash, getting a little punish for it too. That eject was a little risky though, cause Light was, or er, uh, Tilde was coming down with a lot of, you know, invincibility from the Angel plot. So once again, now we're a gonna bear? see, uh, yeah, all right, there, there right. we go, there's some doves. It's good DI from Yoda Cage though. He went he went uh, very horizontal there instead of going a little higher and letting Light react. So it was good DI. Living, oh, Tilde, <laughs> What's ooh, he doing? <laughs> just moving, that's what he's doing. Breaking now this angles. is completely doable, but once again, Light has hit, and hit that on Yoda like three or four times. Yeah, no. Unfortunate. Oh, see ya. They taunted. All right, that was unnecessary. No, it wasn't. Light said, so let's go. Yeah. Oh, well, Light knows Beast. They're like buddies. True. There you yeah, go. Yeah, see? Beast probably called him trash. See, you know? like, yeah, true. <laughs> classic, classic. Friendly trash talk between the PA scene, New England scene, the uh, Tri State scene, all that. We yeah, get along Tri State here, has a really strong showing today. You guys are in for a treat for singles. Yeah, you know, it's we brought be good. some of our heavy hitters. Do we have the singles record? I'd like to take a look at that, too. Because I think we're going to get single started uh, pretty quickly here, actually, folks. Um, I think Guilty Gear is just about wrapping up. If it's not done already, um, things are kind of flying left and right. Uh, going through the bracket really quick. Uh, we got a great venue here, though. If you guys don't know Nomads, this is my first time here. I've seen it a lot, though. Oh obviously, the weeklies so cool. and stuff here. It's, yeah, it's a great venue. It's like it an arcade weeklies, restaurant. Yeah. They used to, yeah. I don't know if they do anymore. But, I mean, that's hey, cool. we got this tournament, so that's cool. Yeah, no, definitely for sure. It's good venue.